Tonight, auto thefts are on the rise in Maui's Kahului Airport. State and county officials think there are several reasons for it. Sir Chelsea Davis breaks it down from the Valley Isle. It's cars like these that officials say are easy targets for thieves. Lock boxes that are visible and easy to break into. At the Kahului Airport public parking lot, it's pretty obvious which vehicles are peer to peer ride sharing cars. If they see a lock box on your car, that pretty much tells a person that there's a key inside that lockbox. Those lockboxes aren't exactly bank safes. It's pretty easy to get them open. If you do have that on your car, it's kind of an advertisement. Authorities say once they're in the car, they just plow through the fence, leaving airport officials to fix the damage. Officials say several of these incidents involve Turl vehicles, which are illegally parked on property. Turl says these incidents are uncommon, with over 99.9% of trips ending without any significant incidents. The State Department of Transportation recently partnered with the Maui Police Department to help cite cars parked illegally. MPD says there were seven car thefts from the airport parking lot in January, nine in February, and 12 in March. The most common vehicles stolen were Toyotas. I'm not too surprised with the uh, car thefts. Hiile Morrison has been working at the Kahului Airport for 20 years. He and other employees used to park in this lot, but peer-to-peer -peer ride sharing cars have recently taken up most of the parking stalls. It's very hard to find parking, so I ended up going, uh, having to move to another parking lot, another location. Turo says it's working with the airport's division on parking solutions and in the meantime, reminds the community to conduct vehicle exchanges off airport property. Reporting in Kahului, Chelsea Davis, Hawaii News Now.